Ah, uh, we finally made it to the Rocky movie that I almost knew nothing about. People really don't talk about this one, do they? I didn't hate it as a whole. There are some good ideas here that aren't executed very well or explored properly. But did they have to make Rocky poor again? Like, it doesn't seem to affect the movie overall other than just to get him back to where he was in the first movie. Did it have to be that way? It it really serves almost no purpose. You gotta love Rocky's relationship with his son. He goes, oh yeah, I have a son, and gives him attention for like 10 minutes, and then realizes he doesn't like boxing and they have nothing in common, so he starts training someone else and neglects his son again. This movie almost feels like a proto-Creed movie, Although, at this stage, I have yet to see Creed, but I know the gist of what happens in Creed. It's similar because Rocky finds a younger person to train, in this case, Tommy the Machine Gun, played by Tommy Morrison, who was actually a boxer in real life. And a very successful one, looking at his record, he even won against George Foreman, holy shit! But unfortunately, he died in 2013, rest in peace. His character I didn't like very much, and oh man. That hair was absolutely atrocious. But we were just coming out of the 80s in 1990. So I guess you can give it a pass. No, I can't give it a pass. That hair is terrible. My favorite moments from the movie are when Rocky is taking joy in teaching someone else and learning how to teach at the same time and trying to save him from falling into the same pitfalls that successful boxers fall into. And you get the sense that Rocky sees Tommy as more of a son than his actual son, even though Sage Stallone is Sylvester Stallone's actual son. And that's getting pretty confusing now that I'm thinking about it. I get the father-son dynamic of the movie as well. Robert is a very different person from Rocky and Rocky isn't interested in that much else outside of boxing so they don't have that much to relate to. I just wish it was more interesting in the movie. It's an interesting concept again it's not really executed very well and Rocky's son goes into a whole rebellious stage and everything and it's all a bit cringe and then they get over it and they're all happy again until they're not. And the final fight in this movie it really is a letdown. It's not a proper match it's just Rocky beating the shit out of Tommy because he chose a different trainer and he screwed him over and shit like that. And he just stopped caring by the end of the movie. And I really see why this movie isn't talked about much in the franchise. This was the only one where I didn't really know what was going to happen in it because nobody talks about it apparently. But you can disagree with me. You don't need to take my word for it. You can see the movie for yourself and come up with your own opinion. As always, more videos to come, and thank you for listening to me ramble on about a movie for a few minutes. I do appreciate it. Thank you again. Have a good one.